Okay, so now based on the rules that we wrote down, we're going to solve for variables in these problems. So number one, it shows us expressions for each side length of the parallelogram. We learned that in parallelograms, the opposite sides are congruent. So this is the same length as its opposite, and also this is the same length as its opposite side over here. Because of that, we can set the expressions equal to solve for the variable. So I'm going to solve for a first. I'm going to put 2a equal to 3a minus 5. So then I'm just going to solve the equation. Then once I have a, I'm going to solve for b, just setting these two expressions equal. 2b minus 1 equals b plus 3. And b equals 4. In this case, they're just asking you to solve for the variable. They don't want you to plug it back in and find side length. So we're done. Okay, number two. So this looks very similar, but they want you to use the rules differently. It's specifically talking about angle measure. One of the theorems stated that opposite angles are congruent. So therefore, this angle is the same measure as this one, and this angle is the same measure of its opposite over here. That being said, y must be 44 degrees because those are congruent angles. So y equals 44, so that's one of them. And then to find x, our consecutive angles are supplementary. So x plus 44 equals 180. And now we can solve for x. So x is 136. x is also supplementary to this angle. So if you wanted to do 180 minus this 44, Obviously, you would have gotten the same thing. Okay, number three, it has the diagonals there. I mentioned that the diagonals bisect each other, meaning that this is the same length as this here. This would be the midpoint of that segment. And then this is the same length as this. So for this, you set them equal. Set the equal parts equal, like this. x minus 2 equals 19 plus 2 x equals 21, and then for this one, y plus 1 equals 26. Y equals 45. Yes, sir. Um, number 4 is just like number 1, so I'm not going to go over that one, but you would set these equal to solve for a and set these equal to solve for b. Number five, this one, you are dealing with consecutive angles being supplementary. So I could say x plus 8 plus y plus 9 equals 180, but I can't solve for two variables at one time. Um, so in this case, I'm going to do these two angles first. I'm going to say x plus 8 plus 3x equals 180 and solve for x first. So I get x equals 43. Now there's two ways I could go about solving it at this point. I know what x is, um, so I could set these two equal and solve for y. Or I could say this plus this is 180 and solve for y that way. It's up to you which one you want to do. Maybe I'll set these two equal. 3x equals y plus 9. x equals 43, so I'm going to plug that in for x. So 3 times 43 equals y plus 9. 129. Is it? Y equals 120. Thank you. 
So 120 equals y. Number six is just like number three, so we already have an example of that. Seven and eight, coordinate geometry. I always lose your attention with these because they take a little bit to like graph all the points. Um, if you get these on the homework, here's what you would do. You'd graph the points. So it would make a parallelogram. It says, find the coordinates of the intersection of the diagonals of parallelogram HJKL with the given vertices. So you'd plot these points, which would give you a parallelogram, and then it wants you to find the intersection of the diagonals. So your diagonals would look like this, and where they intersect is what they're looking for. That intersection is the midpoint um, between these two points. So you could solve for midpoint. You would use x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. Um, or you could just draw it out and eyeball it to find the answer. This one intersects at 3.52. This one intersects at 1, 1. Um, as far as the proof, we don't have the brain power for that today. And we're going to do some on the back, too. Okay. These, we've already practiced those types of examples. This right here is what we're going to focus on. So it says, find the measure of RST. So RST is this angle right here. It shows us a parallelogram. Um, these two angles are supplementary. So 30 plus 25 is 55 degrees. This angle is 55. So I can do 180 minus 55 to get RST, which this comes out to 125. Then the next one, measure of STU. So STU, this angle right here. Um, it is opposite that angle, so it must be the same measure. So it has to be 55 degrees. TUR is this angle, which is opposite that one. So it has to be 125. Then last but not least, it asks for the variable b. That is referring to the length of that side, and we can set that equal to 23 to solve for b. So 4b minus 1 equals 23. b equals 6. Correct. b equals 6. Okay, 9 and 10, those are the ones that you might have to graph. The intersection for this one is 0, 1. This one's at negative 1.5, negative 2. Um, we ain't going to worry about the proofs. And that's it. So that should give you a good base of what to expect in the homework. Just like yesterday, the homework is on Schoology. Um, 